Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, this is a little update. There are still Blackbird haversacks available on the 8th run. I still have some left to sell. So if you're still wanting one, you haven't missed out, you still have an opportunity, this will be the last run of 2021. So if you want one, now it's time to get on guys. Uh, I've got a few left and I just wanted to bring that to you. Next, someone asked me, they said it had been a while since they had seen that video I did a year ago about the Blackbird. Could I do a little refresher? Sure. Okay. This is the Blackbird Haversack. This is a separate bag, okay? This is the Blackbird Haversack. It is a waxed canvas, factory wax canvas bag. It has a large roomy compartment. One of the features is the lip of it comes up and bends over so as you can see right there whenever the lid is closed it actually pinches the top of the haversack so stuff doesn't fall out right here the top flap is actually a pocket and has a brass zipper in it where you can open it up and store the stuff so while you're wearing it you can very easily flip it back toward you like this and open it up get to your stuff without having to take your bag off of course, mine's stuff for stuff right now. Now, on the back of the bag, you have a piece of webbing that has two pass-throughs. This allows me to put a small bedroll, tarp, or whatever on the bottom, as well as by incorporating a soft shackle right here, I can run the handle of a tomahawk, hatchet, whatever, through here and then anchor right here to the handle so it's held diagonally or an axe or a shovel or whatever I want to carry this way. The strap is long and adjustable with these double D buckles and it's got a quick disconnect by simply doubling the material and going through the buckle you can snatch the free end and the back, the back will fall completely off of you as well as this strap is hollow. And the reason that it is hollow and the size that it is is to take a buck saw blade that you can run down into it and then whenever you're wearing it it'll be a straight piece going this way so you can have a buck saw blade to carry with you to make your own buck saw. In addition this can be worn on your belt or the strap is actually long enough you can flip it back on your back as a knapsack. I will leave the link right up here to the original full length video where I went into all these details, but I hope this, you know, explains to you what it looks like. Several people have asked, you know, it's just been a while and they didn't remember. I understand. That's life. Now, um, next. On the Blackbird Haversack, I have a friend of mine that is interested in making a very small very limited run of Kondura, you know, kind of like Hidden Woodsman type Kondura bag. They sew Kondura. And so they're going to make this bag with the angle straps and everything. However, the strap will not be a hollow tube like this. It will be just a solid strap with an attachment buckle on it. What we're wanting to know is if there's any interest in that. I've had several people over the last year, whenever I had brought up and put my Blackbird on sale, there have been a few people who have asked, do you make it in Kondura? And I don't. Well, my friend sews Kondura, and she makes her own gear, and she wanted to make a Blackbird for herself, so I authorized her to make a Blackbird out of Kondura. And we're going to have a prototype for me to show you in probably the next month. So, if you have an interest in it, I'm going to put a link, I'm going to put the information right here. Okay, so upcoming events. This week, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will be camping out at Geneva State Forest, me and my wife, and several other people are saying they're coming in. It's not an official gathering, it's just if you'd like to come hang out, we're going camping. Okay, you're welcome to come camp. Uh, no official classes or nothing. It's just going to be hanging out, talking, cooking, and just enjoying. Okay? Uh, two weeks from now, in the 1st of October, 
think that's October 7th, 8th, 9th, or 8th, 9th, and 10th. I will be going to Ohio to the Central Bushcraft, uh, Ohio Central Bushcraft Gathering, I believe that's called. And I will be there for uh, Friday night, Saturday, and coming back Sunday because it's about a 12, 14 hour drive from me. So we'll be leaving out at O Dark 30 on Friday morning and we'll get up there hopefully by 4 or 5 in the afternoon. So it'll be me and my wife again. This is one she wants to go to. We've got several friends coming to that. And I have been made a one-win ambassador by the one-win hammock company. And so I will be setting up some one-win hammocks for show and display and to, to tell people I won't have, you know, a store or anything. I'm just showing the equipment and so, so you can go to the website and get it. But I can show you the quality of the material and let you try it out and etc. So I'll be doing that. Then the 1st of November, I will be going to Georgia, to the Georgia Bushcraft Gathering, where I'll be working with the Fuel to Fire School as an adjunct instructor, and I'll be conducting a class on the Kukrit in the Eastern Woodlands. That's all I've got tentatively right now. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a Frozen Foot camp out in January or so, uh, with Southeast Bushcraft Base Camp that I normally go to or try my best to go to. And then my gathering will be next spring sometime, either March or April, and I'll announce that right after Christmas when I judge the weather pattern we're running through, whether it's going to be a wet winter or a cold winter. And, you know, we want to have my gathering at a time when mosquitoes ain't by the billions, and at the same time, the... Uh, the weather is pleasant and I hadn't heated up too much and yet it ain't too bitter cold. So I got to kind of gauge that and I usually do that right after Christmas. So that's the announcements of what Blackie's going to be doing. Um, if you're, you're going to be at the Georgia Gathering or at the uh, Central Ohio Bushcraft Gathering, please, or if you're going to come out this weekend, come out. I'd love to see you. Come up and say hi. You know, I enjoy meeting people um, and please, Put in the comments down there if there's some other event that you know of that I, I might like. Give me a holler. I might be able to attend it. Till next time, guys. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.